Second home run of the season today. I think you just had two all of last year. Where's this power coming from? Are you working on that? I'm, I'm growing up. <laughs> I'm growing up. Gaining weight this past summer. I gained about 10 pounds. So uh, I'm not changing my swing or anything. I'm just staying, staying myself and the power's coming. So. so You guys opened the SEC slate with a sweep of Georgia. How big big is that going on momentum into the rest of the conference? Oh, it's it's huge. We talk about every, every game matters in the SEC. You know, it doesn't matter who you play. And the SEC wins and the SEC wins, so it's gonna it's gonna be used down the road. Speaking on, Daniel spoke about yeah, the power you've been throwing on, but it seems like you have a web gym just about every single game. What what have you done that's worked so well for you defensively? Well, I feel like it's been like that my whole life. I've been a defensive player first, and now the the hitting's come along really well. But um, I praise on my defense. That's that's why I'm on the. That's why I play second base here, and uh, yeah, I'm just just doing me out there, you know. You guys. Just take the finish, bottom half of the division, along with Georgia. What kind of statement do you think you made for the rest of the year? Uh, I think obviously it's it's a big message that we just show to everyone, but um, we don't really look at those kind of stuff just because we don't let anything outside uh, outside the, the the culture we have impact what we have here. So we believe in ourselves, and we're going to keep believing. So. so what was it about that culture that carried you guys this weekend? Uh, we believe, like I said, um, Mitch, uh, Coach Mitch talked about that last weekend. Uh, we didn't feel like we were believing those first two games when we were down. And uh, I feel like now everyone's just believing that the Cats can do it. So, yeah. uh, I think today was your fifth start of the season. Another really good start. Just kind of how are things going for you? Uh, you know, just, uh, you know, me and Rose always talk about, you know, just attacking the zone. And, uh, this team was aggressive, and you know, when you have a defense like ours, it's just kind of easy for me to go out there and just, you know, attack the zone and get a lot of ground balls. We've seen a big kind of turnaround in the dugout, uh, starting with this past midweek game. We saw you rocking the pink hat and those glasses. Uh, what, what did you kind of do to kind of start that initiative of kind of you know, changing that culture? Uh, well, Coach Mitch kind of got on to us about, you know, not being up in the dugout against Kennesaw State. You know, he, uh, we got the message, and so it was, it's actually like my hat, it's a freshman's, and, and it was supposed to be our home run hat. And a buddy of my own team was like, just wear it. I was like, all right. And so it's kind of been a thing ever since then. And hopefully I'm going to keep rocking with it. Does that got anything to do with getting weird on your arm? It is, yeah. The coach ammo in our in our player meetings, his, the last thing he always says is, uh, remember, uh, just, just get weird. And that's kind of like the thing right now. We're What's getting that weird. Mean? Just like get creative with our dugout stuff, you know, we we uh, we had a team meeting a couple weeks ago about past teams and what they do, and we just kind of piggybacked off of that. And it's helped us, you know, we feed off the dugout, and you know, I think once if we're energized, and it just helps us out there. You look like you were having more luck with it's not luck with your breaking ball as opposed to your sinker today. Is that the way it worked? Was it all working? Uh, I think it was all working today. You know, I just I popped up really good today, and you know they were aggressive, so it was kind of easy just to just throw all my stuff in there for strikes, and I got a lot of swings and misses today. I know you probably didn't have the start to the season that you expected, but you've really heated up over the last six or so games. What in your approach has kind of changed lately? Um, Approach-wise, I mean, really just just kind of going back to what I made some minor um, adjustments on like what I've done previously. And uh, honestly, I think I just relaxed a little bit more. I think I was just, you know, wanting to do and uh, do a little bit too much and wanting to, you know, put up numbers and perform. And, you know, that's that's probably on myself for trying, uh, you know, scrutinizing myself a little bit too much. But um, I've just, you know, the coaches have kind of really let me, just, you know, try to relax and, you know, back to get back to like what I did, you know, in the fall and in the spring and what I've done in past seasons before. So. Um, yeah, I think I think relaxing really is probably the biggest one. Really, but. you've got your first SEC series now in the books. What was it like playing the SEC for the first time? Um, I mean, it was pretty cool. I mean, you try to treat it like every other series. I mean, SEC is, uh, is definitely different, but um, you know, you don't want to overhype it too much and really psych yourself out. So, um, other than that, I thought it was I thought it was a really solid atmosphere. I thought you know it was very uh, very very competitive between the two squads this weekend, but. Um, other than that, I'll just try to treat it like every other weekend, right? You had a good weekend for starters down at Upstate. And then you kind of started spacing your hits a little. You feel like you were pressing after that? Is that what you were trying to do? Yeah, I think, you know, I was uh, I was thinking I was trying to find my stride, really, and trying to find, like, where I kind of found myself, you know, amongst uh, in the season and where I kind of fit in, um, you know, when the season started. And um, I, th I took some time off a little bit. 
uh, in, uh, in those weeks, I think, and um, it really just kind of let me just go back to what I've been, been doing before, really, and, uh, you know, just, you know, seeing the ball better and relaxing and just kind of getting in the cage and working with uh, work, working with the coaching staff. And, well, you hit the ball pretty well, but you weren't hitting home runs. Does that, did that bother you? You feel like they brought you here because they needed home no, runs? No, I mean, you can't really... You know, you can't really try to hit home runs, right. and you know it never really works out. Um, you just gotta go up there with a simple approach and try to hit the baseball hard. You know, I know I got a shift going, but you know it, it's it's just it is what it is, and you can't. Sometimes you hit the ball hard and it's into the shift, and you can't really, you know, let that get you down. You just gotta keep you know focused on quality at bats and hitting the baseball hard, and you know good things will happen. You hit it over the shift today. Does that kind of make you smile at least on the inside? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, when you when you beat the shift, it's it's. Uh, it's it's pretty it feels pretty good just to know like you know the the report on you is you know you're gonna hit it here and you know all the numbers this that and the other so you know baseball is weird and you know sometimes when you hit the ball you know not according to the shift like it it makes you feel pretty good that you can uh, go the opposite direction stuff like that the sec premier conference in all of college baseball how satisfying is it to open sec play with a sweep over a team like georgia who entered as one of the hottest in all of college baseball yeah it's a great baseball team um came in 17 and one so for us to win three games obviously uh, a great start um couldn't start any better but uh man i just thought our team was a team all weekend um from Friday until the last pitch on Sunday. And I'm, I'm really proud of them because a weekend ago, that was maybe not the case. And um, for them, they made a commitment and it started on Tuesday, started out with a great week on Tuesday and just a fun week all the way around to be around them, to watch them uh, celebrate each other's successes. Like, man, the way they serve each other, the way they just rally for each other, fun week, uh, great game by Mason. Um, you know, uh, just to go six innings, give up two runs with the wind blowing the way it was, it gets an offense like that, um, to give up just three hits, he was phenomenal. I thought the double play was huge. Um, when they had the, what inning was that? Let's see. I don't remember, I can't find it. Uh, <laughs> but it was a huge double play. They had bases loaded, had a chance. Great play by Pete, good flip to Grant. Great finish on the back end by Nicholson, just through great. And I thought Trey Puzer was electric. Um, and then you know what? To look at the the runs, you don't score that many runs without getting production up and down the lineup. Mm -hmm. Every guy in our lineup either scored a run or knocked in a run. Mm -hmm. And uh, to have length and depth like that was uh, crucial. And obviously Ryan Nicholson just swung it back great. It seemed like Nicholson after that home run on Tuesday uh, really settled in at the plate. What what have you seen from him that's made the difference for him? This past week. You know, I just remember I went back and I've watched that video of him uh, rounding the bases and him just like letting all that emotion out in energy. It was like, you know, and even as he's rounding the bases today, I just told him both times, man, you deserve this. You deserve it. Like as he's rounding the bases because, you know, he's believed in himself. And when you have a guy that's played that much college baseball, um, he's his self belief and confidence didn't waver, it was there. And um, so he's not surprised. He deserves it. And um, boy, is this going back in. You know, Mason's through his first first five starts. You know, he didn't. He was just a reliever all last year, and he, it seems like he's getting better and better every game. How impressed have you been with his transition this year? Yeah, it's been great, and it has been a transition. It's been a, a deal where he had to learn it all, everything. And we talked about that at media day at the beginning of the year, where he had to figure out his routine, his process, all of that. And uh, he's done a great job. Coach Rosell's done a great job, and uh, the rest of the staff just helping him along. And uh, he's super talented. He didn't need much help he just needed the experience and starts and so far he's done well long season a lot more to go but man I'm proud he's a wildcat Petrie continues to impress with the glove and uh, the bat has really uh, been very consistent this year what have you seen from him that's just allowed him to have a little more power than he did last year maturity maturity this guy is as good as player as I've coached and that's saying a lot you know I've had the privilege to coach a lot of guys to make it to the major leagues and I can tell you and look all of you in the eye right now that he's as good as players I've coached the way he can impact the game on so many levels think about the first play he made of the game yesterday the diving play and then today he has to leave the yard and then he has a situation like that where we just need an RBI and he gets the sack fly and he has the right approach 
this guy, and you saw it with his legs on the bases. He can impact the game in so many ways, and um, he's a winner. But uh, I, I would say maturity. He's a, a very mature baseball player and understands the game at a very, very high level. Even he says he's not hitting the ball yet as well as he'd like. I mean, are you looking for more? You always are, I guess. Uh, man, I can't wait to see him do better than he's doing now, you know? Um, but, whoo, he's special. Yeah. He is a special, special player. Good to have Grant back. Yeah, you know, Grant, I, I give Grant a lot of credit. He's met me in my office for three straight mornings, and we've gone over a game plan, and this guy is a warrior. This guy wants to play as bad as and as much as anyone. And each day we came up with a game plan, and uh, it wasn't the game plan that he necessarily wanted each morning, but um, – he trusted it, and then eventually we got him to a spot where he understood what we were trying to do and how long the season is. And you know, when you're you're dealing with the injury that he had, it, it could be there for a long time. And uh, we didn't want to do that. And uh, give Richie Wells and Miss Kaylee, our training staff, a ton of work and uh, a ton of credit because uh, Grant put the work in, and we were able to get him back and uh, make some adjustments to his pregame routine and things like that to make sure he was healthy and. He finished the game for us. Yep, all three days he got the chance to finish the game for us. So that was key. We were talking upstairs about the approaches every one of you guys had at the plate, and you kind of alluded to that compared to last weekend. Is that part of that fun for the whole weekend that you guys kind of rededicated? You know, sometimes you have to go back to the basics, and um, Coach Ammo has done a great job going back to the basic with our with our guys and creating the drill work in the mindset of what we need to do. And then Coach Kuzi has done a great job preparing for our opponents as well. So understanding what our opponents are trying to do and then what we need to do to combat what they're trying to do. Um, so all of that, the preparation and the hours of video and hard work and just them spending time with each player and spending time on our opponents, you know, those guys have put a lot of work in. Those two men in Coach Ammo and you know, Coach Kuzi, they just, and then there's others, you know, there's been a ton of guys in there watching the video, trying to help out, say hello, fans, like our whole staff, everyone is just trying to do everything they can. And um, you don't do something like this without just getting a ton of help and effort from everybody. And we have a great staff that's put a lot of time and effort into it.